Chapter 5 now, we're going to talk a little bit about accounting theory. And we have a few learning objectives here. We're going to look at the assumptions and concepts that underlie accounting. We're going to discuss some major principles and some accounting conventions. Now to begin with, we've already talked about the business entity concept. That is the idea that a business has an existence separate from its owner. Secondly, we also assume that that business will be a going concern assumption. If the accountant is aware that this business was planning to shut down, that would change the way that the accountant would report the financial data. Speaking of financial data, we use the dollar as a stable unit. We don't, involve, we don't increase it for inflationary purposes. So we measure all activities based on the dollar. And when we report, we have to divide the entity's life into economic periods, in months or years, and so that we can report the financial activities for a particular period. Now there are some major principles called generally accepted accounting principles that have been formulated. They're standardized by the accountants uh, all over the world and they're followed by everyone. Cost principle we record assets at their cost, their purchase price. We have a source document that indicates how much we pay for that. We never adjust an asset like a, a building or anything upwards to the market value. We always record it at its historical price, the price we paid for it, and then we depreciate it from there. The revenue recognition principle we already came across, that states that the accountant recognizes revenue when the entity earns that revenue or provide, selling the product or providing a service. This is the accrual based type of accounting as opposed to the cash based. And that also speaks to the matching principle, that is we record expenses that uh, in the time period in which they were incurred, whether they were paid or not. There's the gain and loss recognition principle that we report gains only when they're realized, but loss when we first but losses when we first become aware of them. And the full disclosure states that information that may not be financial but may be important, such as a lawsuit or something like that, uh, should be disclosed by the accountant in the form of a note at the end of the financial statements. Now on top of that there are some accounting conventions. The cost benefit consideration involves deciding where the benefits uh, should be included. Materiality is a convention that allows the account to deal with insignificant information, immaterial. Conservatism means we're cautious or prudent to making sure that assets and net income are not overstated because any overstatement can lead to potential investors. So these are some of the common sense rules that form the basis of accounting theory.